This bully had explained to our son step by step how to do this challenge. They found Evan with a rope, but also with a stopwatch on his wrist. And he never wore that stopwatch before. I believe he did this not knowing that it was going to be dangerous to him, and certainly not that it would cost his life. I had never heard of this choking game blackout challenge ever in my life. In just an instant, our lives were shattered completely. Since losing Evan almost seven years ago, I have devoted my life to trying to spread awareness. We feel like if we're able to even reach one family and one child and save them from this deadly challenge and from losing their child, then we feel that our son's death will not be in vain. When this happened, uh, how, how did you learn how this came about and how he got baited into this? Well, at first, I didn't know. We had come across something called the choking game. And, you know, we looked at it and everything, you know, it sounded just what happened to our son. And um, in a few months, it was actually after we had our son's death changed to accidental, a student reached out to me and said, I don't think Evan killed himself. And I said, no, I, we know he didn't. What do you mean? And he told us that the day before we lost our son, he overheard this particular student daring our son to this choking game and describing in detail how to do it. And basically, that's how we found him. Yeah. Now, you know, Matt, you, you work in cybersecurity. So, uh, you know, just like you guys being on point about this, you didn't want him involved in any of this at all in any way, period, no. paragraph. No, we definitely didn't. We were hyper vigilant about what type of apps that he had installed, especially social media. We totally restricted it. The problem is that as soon as he gets on that bus, everybody else has yeah. it. And he's in school and everybody else has the apps and they see the yeah. content. So even if you don't allow your child to have it, they're gonna get exposed to it. He had a stopwatch. Yes. yes, and he never wore that. And I knew when I saw that, that meant something. I thought he was trying to time himself. Yeah. You know, it was actually in stopwatch mode. It was in stopwatch yeah. mode. So yeah. I mean, he yeah. had it in stopwatch mode. So yeah. you know, he was timing himself. Yes. And again, not understanding Correct. how yes. this goes, mm -hmm. and not understanding the curve and how you can black out, which yeah. is. Oh, yeah. they, they don't understand. And the thing that I say too is that, you know, they're hearing about it from these other kids. And for those who've seen it on social media, they're watching other children do it. They're, they're laughing, they're having a good time. It does not look scary and certainly doesn't look like they could die from it. And their own documents show that they, they, they know that their products are harming kids and they know that they could make them safer. They just know that it will cost them a little bit of money to do that. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.